let's discuss some three dimensional problems of trigonometry right so let's look at this question let's read the question first in the rectangular box shown find ac find ar and angle between ac and ar right so i think uh, the language is pretty clear the the rectangular box is given to us ab it has to be karna kya right it's it's again uh, application of normally it's application of right angle triangles is mean uh, 95% aapke right angle triangles bante hain right so uh, sometimes hota hai ki aapka scalene triangle ban jata hai which we will cover that in some coming videos ki agar yahan par right angle triangle nahi banta so kaun sa phir rule apply hoga wo hum baad mein discuss kare right so first let's look at this question so we will remember that in a three dimensional figure it's more it's a test of your visualization how strongly can you visualize things right aapko you you have this understanding that the base that the floor you are standing at is at 90 degree to the wall to any wall of the room right so uh, let's say you take this wall so this line of the base and this line is at 90 degrees that means i draw the shape that means this this line and this base are at 90 degrees right this is also part of the base or that line of the floor and height it still makes an angle of 90 degrees right so ye aapne visualize karna hai so this is 90 again height with the base this is 90 just have a look at the you know uh, the the floor the base you looking uh, you currently sitting in the room so beta aap height ko zara dekho height with the length of the floor height with the length of the floor 90 degrees now height with the base with the base of the floor because beta ye ab ek white board pe ek plane mein two dimensional mein maine ye three dimensional figure draw kiya hai So, सिर्फ यही टेस्ट है आपका कि आपकी कितनी स्ट्रॉन्ग अंडरस्टैंडिंग है विजुअलाइजेशन स्किल्स है सो so, यही सिर्फ एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेवलप करनी है कि दिस इज द बेस और ये जो वर्टिकल वॉल है इसके 90 डिग्रीज है राइट सो अगेन हाइट विद द लेंथ ऑफ द फ्लोर 90 डिग्रीज अगेन हाइट विद द वेथ ऑफ द फ्लोर अगेन 90 डिग्रीज सो ये मैंने दोनों एंगल्स 90 क्यों I hope this is clear. Yeah, yeah. But before you apply, over height with the length of the floor 90 degrees, and obviously height with the base of the floor. This is also 90 degrees, right? So here we 90 degrees. And if you look at the question, it says a rectangular box. So that means base is a rectangle. So beta, we know that rectangle ke sare angles 90 degrees ke hote. So examiner won't draw that for you. so it is understood you should know this you have almost rectangles square circles some grade 3 4 onwards hum isko we start studying this so we know this fact ki all these angles are at 90 degrees of the floor right because it's a, it's a rectangular floor it's a rectangular floor and same goes for the for the roof because rectangular base hai to this top would also be a rectangular uh top right so anyway let's come to the question now uh find the length ac so what is ac that is the diagonal of the floor so that is the diagonal of the floor so if i just redraw the base in a two dimensional shape so hum zara base ko draw karte so beta the base will be like this so this is a b c and d This is 12 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. So, we have base ki, we have diagonal calculated. This and all angles are at 90 degrees, right, Victor? So, we know by Fourier theorem, if you are given two lengths in a right angle triangle, uh, hypotenuse is the longest length of a right angle triangle. So, what is the what is by Fourier theorem, right? I I just briefly explain here. If let's say this is a right angle triangle. so let's say this length is a this length is b and this length is c 
So the formula that connects these three lenses, uh, A square plus B square is equal to uh, the longest length, which is the hypotenuse, uski length ka square, right? A square plus B square is equal to C square. So that is the formula that connects the length of a right angle triangle. And better please remember that hypotenuse is the longest side and it always is the subject it comes alone, right? So zara mistake a Pythagoras theorem apply karte hai. So AC humne find karni hai. So that means applying the Pythagoras theorem, which is, you know, A square plus B square is equal to C square, which we've already discussed that this is hypotenuse. This is the longest side of the right angle triangle. Or hypotenuse is 90 degrees ki opposite side. Right? So let's plug in the values. So this is 12 square plus 5 square or AC ka square. Right? So what is 12 square? 144. What is 5 square? 25. And this is AC square. So let's say in exams beta, calculators are allowed. So please pick up your calculator. Or hum squares bhi le sakte. Or quickly zara add karte. 144 plus 25. This makes 169. Right? This makes 169. And how do you remove the square? You take square root on both sides. So as a result, square and unrooted it get cancelled. So aapke paas AC kitna aage beta? That is square root of 169. And which is 13. Right? And which is? 13. We know that. So 13 centimeters is the length of AC. So again, beta, it was an application of a right angle triangle, but it was all about understanding the three dimensional space. Right? So let's look into the next part. Find the length of AR. Right? So A is one diagonal on the floor and R is the top diagonal on the other side of the roof, right? So let me just mark this, if, right? So this is AR. Uh, it should be a straight line. It should be a straight line. Okay, now it's much better. It's much clearer. So you have to find the length AR from one corner on the base, on the floor, to the top right corner on the roof, right? So this is the distance AR. So again, beta, pick the right, pick the correct right angle triangle. So again, you have know, already discussed this. I'm going to raise these right angles so that I make this absolutely clear. There should be no confusion. Uh, right. Now, beta, tell me one thing. Again, what we have discussed. The floor is 90 degrees to the wall, right? Any line on the floor, remember that. Any line on the floor, whether it be the length of the floor, width of the floor, or the diagonal of the floor. So whether it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the height. It makes an angle of 90 degrees with the height. <laughs> right? I hope this is clear. So, uh, because floor is 90 degrees to the height. Any line on the floor, right? Koi bhi direction ho. So, diagonal is also a line on the floor. Is cheese ko understand ko. So normally students beta yaha they make this mistake. Ye point ko clear me hota. Uh, you know, I don't know. Somehow they're confused. Ke how is this 90 degrees? Right? So beta I'm explaining this. Ke because it's it's in 3D or draw on kar rahe, two dimensional way. In a way ke aapko lage ke it's a three dimensional figure. Right? So obviously you need to understand this. This is part of a syllabus. Or in three dimensional drawings, ko understand karna. So again, by our visualizing scales, and we have to understand this. So, beta, this is 90 degrees, right? It's on the floor. So, diagonal of the base is 90 degrees to the height, right, beta? So, you take this right angle triangle. So, let me draw this. So, the height of this triangle is 4. The diagonal, we've already got 13 centimeters. Or we AR ki length humne beta find karni hai, and this point is C, right? We have to find the length AR. So again, apply Pythagoras theorem. We've already discussed. Hypotenuse is the longest side. It comes alone. It is subject. So 13 square plus 4 square is equal to hypotenuse square, AR square. So 13 square, again, they have 169 plus 16 is equal to AR square. 
So pick up your calculators or better just simply write 169 plus 16 and that would give you 185 or better what is AR? You take square root on both sides. So AR aapke paas aage, that is just simply aap square root lele 185 ka and that gives you 13.6. So 13.6 centimeters. This is your answer to this length AR. I hope this is absolutely clear and uh, there should be no ambiguities in this, right? Let's look at the last part. Angle between AC and AR. So AC was the diagonal of the base and AR obviously uh, is the diagonal of the room you can say from one corner of the base to the top right corner of the top right. So what is this angle? Let's mark this angle. So with the angle between AC and AR it's pretty simple. You have to find this angle right. So it's pretty simple. We've already drawn this right angle triangle. So this is AC. Again, we have taken this right angle triangle. Please remember that beta. This is a very common mistake here. Uh, because angle with the floor, normally students, they sometimes take this angle or they take with this line. Remember that angle of the diagonal with the floor is always the diagonal of the base, right? In some of the questions, uh, they are in word problems. So word problems may wo sirf ye likhte hain ki find the angle uh, of the of let's say AR of the diagonal of the room with the with the base. Wo sirf likhte hain with the base. So ye understanding honi chahiye beta ki base ke upar hum diagonal ke saath angle calculate karte hain. Right? Remember that. So anyway, ye humne right angle beta already draw ki hui hai. So this is the angle we have to find. AC and AR, right? Let me erase this. We have to erase kar dete. We don't need this now. Okay. So again, we have to find this angle. 90 degrees in some of the side. That is hypotenuse. Angle ke some of the side is opposite. And the side the meaning is base. So pick the right trigonometric ratio. Opposite and base. So we will apply tan. So tan of the angle is opposite over base. Right beta? So x is what? Tan of the jacket, tan inverse ho jayega. 4 over 13. So beta, angle aapke paas aagya. Angle is, pick up your calculator. So tan inverse 4 divided by 13. Bracket close. Or ye beta aapke paas aagya. 17.1 degrees. 17.1 degrees. So, that is how you solve any three-dimensional problem. So, koi bhi hoongi, aapko bete 3D mein given hoongi, look for right angle triangles, right? Hide with the base. Aap kitni right angle triangles thi? We've already drawn with the diagonal, 90 degrees. With the, with the length of the floor, 90 degrees, right? This is also 90. So, with the, uh, with the width of the floor, this is, this is again 90, right? So, beta, ye sare 90 degrees ke angles, they should be absolutely clear. Uh, and you can easily solve, again, uh, picking up the correct trigonometric ratio. Or aap usko easily solve kar sakte So, I hope you've learned how to solve the three-dimensional problem. Beta, comments ko mujhe batao. Uh, aapko kaisa lagi uh, ye video? Or koi ambiguity, koi further, you know, thing you want to discuss. So, mujhe comments ko batao. And keep watching uh, this channel. Or keep updated, subscribe, karo, share, karo, like karo for further videos.